Hello, it's August 21st, 2015. I'm Megan Peterson with your Catch Can Daily News Weekly Recap. Two people are dead and one person remains missing after two and a half inches of rain fell over a 24-hour period, triggering landslides in Sitka early this week, according to Associated Press reports. The fatal landslide crashed through a construction site where victims were working on a residential home. Authorities believe the slide killed city building inspector William Stortz and brothers Elmer and Ulysses Diaz. Though authorities recovered the bodies of who they believe to be the Diaz brothers, bad weather has hampered recovery operations and crews were still searching for Stortz's body on Thursday. The Ketchikan City Council voted against an artist residency program at its regular meeting Thursday. The Ketchikan Arti Area Arts and Humanities Council proposed that the city convey ownership of the former Main Street Fire Station to the Arts Council to use as a space for an artist residency program. Though the city unanimously rejected the proposal, members say they were interested in working with the master carvers from Saxman to allow them to use the old fire station while renovations are happening at the Edwin C. DeWitt Carving Center. Port Townsend, Washington's Northwest Maritime Center announced this week that the Race to Alaska will return in 2016 for its second year. The Race to Alaska is a 750-mile non-motorized boat race between Port Townsend and Ketchikan. Of the 53 teams who signed up for the first race to Alaska, 15 teams arrived at the finish line in Thomas Basin before the July 4th deadline. Team Elsie Piddick won the inaugural race in June. Race organizers say they will announce more details in September. In local sports, high school volleyball players from around Ketchikan and Prince of Wales Island participated in the gold medal squared volleyball camp at Ketchikan High School this week. The four-day camp was led by former University of California San Diego volleyball player Nicole Lawler, and this is the second summer K High has hosted the camp. The Lady King's first volleyball competition is a jamboree on August 28th and 29th in Sitka. Well, that's it. In this week's waterfront section will be a look at the designs of two harbor renovation projects approved by the Ketchikan City Council on Thursday. And check out this weekend's first city scene for a look at Ketchikan's Boomball Dance Hall. I'll leave you with a photo of the week. This has been Megan Peterson with your Ketchikan Daily News Weekly Recap. Have a good weekend.